6 tonight, how far NASA has come to get ready to launch astronauts back to the moon. Crews have been scrambling to update and upgrade the launch pad, and they're on a tight deadline, the end of next year. New 6 space expert Eric Von Anken is at Kennedy Space Center with a look at those essential upgrades. Last time we were out here, this huge hydrogen tank was not finished, and it needs to be in order to launch Artemis 2 from that launch pad, 39B. The reason is the old tanks only had enough fuel for one launch attempt. Otherwise, they'd have to stand down for days. Now, with this new one, they can do three attempts in a row without having to wait for the refueling trucks and lose precious time. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. When Artemis 1 finally lifted off last November, it added more work to Jose Morales's already full plate. The heat came a lot farther from what we thought it was going to be. The Mega Moon rocket's heat melted some cooling fan fins and blew off the elevator doors on the mobile launch tower, so he's had to fix those and at the same time keep working through his main assignment, upgrading all of the launch pad infrastructure to support the next Artemis launch, the one with astronauts, and do it on deadline. The upgraded environmental control system, basically the AC, to the rocket and crew capsule is now done. And the new version of the old escape system used for the space shuttle and Apollo missions is finished. You could say this is almost Disney. <laughs> My impression is this looks like a ride at Disney World. That's how I call it. Astronauts will be able to hop into the basket and sail away from the launch tower if everything goes wrong and if they have time and bail out here on the brightly painted carpet where an armored car will be waiting. Just to build this concrete base station was $10 million, Jose tells me. Over the last 10 years, NASA has spent more than $6 billion on all of the rocket infrastructure upgrades. That does not include the cost to build the Artemis rocket itself. The mobile launcher was supposed to roll out to pad 39B up top there a few months ago, but it wasn't Jose and his projects that caused that delay. It was the launch of Artemis 1. Remember, it took several scrubs and several months finally to get that rocket off the ground, and then Jose and his people couldn't work at the pad while those launch attempts were taking place. Now the mobile launcher is coming in nine days. Finally, that's when they'll get to test all of their work. At the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6.